Hey, what's up, Moto Buddies? Today we're gonna do uh, an installation. We're gonna set up these fork signals. These are the uh, 360 fork wrap signals. So what you're looking at is this device that's been snapped over the fork. So you, you just put them on by simply spreading it out. You get the idea here, you pop that over the fork. Once it's on, it's gonna stay there. We're gonna give you in the package two little pieces of cut hose, clear hose that you can put on the ends, and that will give it a little snugness around there. It fits tight, but you know, it might walk a little bit in this direction, and so if you kind of rubberize the ends of that, it'll hold it. We got fork shrinks on this bike, and so it's doing that job so we didn't put those on there. So these are watertight. We've got some silicone injected in here that seals these up. Um, the strip here around there is a made-for-us custom one-off LED uh, setup with these amber yellow lights on it, super bright. If you notice, these are running right now in just the... Um, uh, like running light mode and so when you go to signal then they're gonna flash at full intensity so basically what you're getting is like 60% intensity and then a hundred percent intensity and you do have the option of not running these in the running light position here how you would do that is you tap into this headlight harness this plugs into your headlight and so in here you've got four wires you have the brown, which is ground. All KTMs, any brown wire, that's ground. Blue is for your high beam. Green is the low beam. And then white is the running light. Do you remember in your stock mask, the stock light setup, you've got that little teeny incandescent bulb underneath the main headlight bulb. That is That satisfies the DOT requirement for a street legal USA bike. And that's what that's for. And also in the back, you've got the run on light on your rear set up and then the license plate light that all happens on this white circuit right here so what we like to do is you just slice into this covering here on this loom tease out the white wire and you're going to install this little posi tap connector at the end of that is a pin it pierces the wire screw that in these orange wires are going to come in your kit already there just a side note now it's orange on this set but sometimes we use purple the color of these wires is irrelevant. Whatever color these are that go into this posi tap, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is that this is the running light feature and you're gonna tap it into the white wire. So we'll slice that open, tap the white, and then we just kind of dress it back up however you want to. You can do it anywhere along the link. That doesn't have to be in the middle. It can be anywhere. But don't do it on this side because this is where the headlight goes. Um, and so you wanna be on this side back here. Otherwise, every time you take your headlight off, you've got this attached to it. So do it on the bike side. Over here, these are the KTM factory OEM style connections. This is what you get with your light kit. So you get your two lights, and then you get these two plugs and this little posi tap. So you just simply remove your stock lights and then plug these two guys in and you're done. If this takes you more than five minutes, then give us a call. Something's up, you're looking at something wrong. It's uh, not impossible to get confused by this, but it should be really easy and we'll walk you through it. Um, and like I said, once you've got these set up, um, your running light feature's here, but if you don't want that running light feature, or if you want to disable it for whatever reason, you could just unthread this one here, pull the wires out, and that will break the connection. You could leave that attached if you want to, to connect it up future in the future. Take these two wires and maybe just put some, some electrical tape around them. There's no electricity. Once these are disconnected here, the power is here, not here. So if you pull these wires loose and out, there's no power on them. Uh, throw some tape on them anyway, just because. That way you don't have just bare copper wires floating around in your, in your harness up here. But there's, you know, there's no power on them. And so you could turn those on or off as you wanted to. Um, and because you're on this like run feature, you know, if you've got our bullet rears, we set these up for run as well. So like this particular bike here, we've got the run light going on in the rear. We've got the run light going on up front. So he's got four way running lights. Pretty trick. Uh, the other thing that's going to happen is you're going to replace out your stock flasher for this one. This is an LED specific one. This comes in the kit. Your stock one looks like this. So here's what your stock bike. And typically this little thing is zip tied up here on the stock bike. There's a little 
bracket that goes across here for your uh, instrument, this is right there. It has this sort of connector. You're looking for this. You're going to remove that. This is set up for incandescent bulbs. So the amount of resistance that happens with your incandescent bulbs is much higher than the very low resistance that happens with the LED. And so you need to upgrade to this one, which is provided. And then you're just going to unplug it and plug this in. So here is the plug uh, on your stock loom. This side is the bike side and it's these wires. So it's the yellow with the blue stripe and the orange. That's your flasher circuit. So you unplug it and plug the new one in. One thing to show you is that this is a two prong, this is a three prong, and so you're gonna bias as you slide that in the prongs to each other. So if you notice, I've left this bottom side. The bottom side of that cavity is not gonna connect to anything because there's no third prong on the stock harness. And so a little bit tricky here with one hand but you get the idea and you push that in and there you go. That's a dead spot. Nothing's happening in this little third position down here and that's fine. So at that point you've got your flasher installed and then the only last thing to do is to plug in the new LED bulb that is gonna go for your indicator. So we've taken this off this bike but your bike will have this little turn signal indicator. That's gonna be living right over here on the side of your instruments, your stock Speedo head. So this little guy, you pull that down and you're gonna have these two color wires, a black and a purple. It's gonna look like this. And there's a little mini incandescent bulb that goes and is attached in there. And so you just pull that out, pop in the new bulb and you're done. Now, a lot of guys sometimes will say There'll be a common complaint whether you're using ours or any other kind of signals and they'll say that all four signals flash at the same time so it's like you've got hazards on what's happening there is if these see these little top and bottom flat plates the bulb makes its connection here so I've turned it so now these are at the top the top and bottom here that's where the bulb makes its electrical connection these little guys on the side now on the top those are just sort of to help secure the bulb. And it's the other guys that, that flow the power. So if all of these squish and touch each other, then you're running both sides. So if you look in here, you'll see there's your black. That's, so that's the green, so that's the right. So the right side signal is the green, that's the black wire. The left side, and that's front of bike. So left, left of bike is the purple. That's your two circuits. So if these two, well, if all of these touch each other like that, then you're basically creating a closed circuit between both left and right side. So when the flasher sends the pulse, it's going to travel across both circuits and now you've got all four flashers. So that's just a little troubleshooting tip if you ever have any, uh, if you have that symptom going on. So again, this is super simple, super straightforward once you've got them in. Um, again, you have the option to run it with the running lights or not. They um, have a lifetime warranty on these. Install in just a few minutes. These are a great upgrade. Again, any questions, let us know. Thanks, guys. Go get some adventure.